All right, it's really hot out. So why are some SMU students slaving under the hot sun this festive season? Let's go find out. What's happening? As I walk into the cool, air-conditioned environment of Dobigod MRT Station and follow the signs below, it brings me to the students who are hard at work from 19 to 21st December to bring about a truly magical Christmas. They have set up a booth to appeal to members of the public to donate blood. Once someone wants to donate, he or she heads through a smooth process of four stations and easily gives blood. And in the process gets this really cool Santa Squeeze toy. I'm here with Joyce and Teresa. They are part of the organizing committee behind this whole blood donation drive for SMU. Okay, self intro, please, ladies. I'm Joyce. I'm a first year student in SMU and Basically, I'm the marketing director for this blood donation drive. I'm Teresa, I'm in my second year, mm. and I'm the project director for this drive. A truly magical Christmas. A thousand. truly magical Christmas. So girls, tell us a bit about how the whole blood donation drive got started. Okay, basically during the Christmas season, mm. uh, the blood supply of the bank actually goes very low because more people go overseas. Mm. And also, uh, the, more people go for parties, and so there's yep. an increased rate of accident. Therefore, there's a shortage of blood supply, and that's why we organize it during this season, so okay. that we can replenish the blood supply. Okay, how long has this uh, blood donation drive been going on from uh, SMU chapter? Yeah, it's actually the fifth year running, yeah, and we started working with Comfort Delgro, mm. uh, and this is our third year working with Comfort Delgro. Okay, so you guys originally started working with Red Cross first, was it? Yeah, it's actually a um, blood bank, um, Red Cross is mm. separate than various departments, and there's a blood donor uh, and blood drive um, department, which is actually, uh, which actually involves um, getting the uni chapters um, to organize blood mobiles to recruit donors. Like for people out there who are not in the know, you know, keeping the blood supply up is actually a very vital function that a society should have. Uh, this is because some of the blood has a shelf life of two hours or something, right? Clarify it for me. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, blood has several components, red okay. blood cells, platelets and plasma. Mm. For plasma, um, fresh frozen plasma can last up to one year. Then for platelets, three to five days. And for red blood cells, 42 days. So it's vital that every like all the, the levels must be up, is it? Um, actually, the blood bank actually um, needs to keep a regular level of stock. Mm. And because they supply it to the hospitals, they need to keep the stock level healthy. So okay. um, um, there's a crucial need to organize blood mobiles to actually top up the blood supply because um, just having a blood bank alone um, does, is not able to keep the blood supply and blood stock healthy. Okay, so now this year you want to have uh, 750 units of blood. Last year, what was the total tally count? Uh, last year, we actually um, collected 745 units of blood. Okay, mm -hmm. and that is... And one many... bag of blood actually can save three lives. Oh. Yeah, so... Um, and with our target of 750 units, you can like potentially save up to 2,250 people. As a marketing director, what is your job in trying to increase like the number of people donating blood? Basically, uh, our marketing campaign is a uh, race to first get donors down to our mm. to our event and also to raise awareness for the need um, to donate blood because in Singapore we use about 250 to 300 bags of blood every day. 
Okay. Yeah, so basically my job is to raise awareness as well as promote this event. So what have you done? Do you design the cool toys that people... Uh, no. <laughs> um, my, com my committee and I, uh, we, we seek for sponsorships and okay. we also design the posters, the flyers and the banners. Yeah. Ah, okay. That's so right. all this, all your hard work. And you, what's your job scope? Um, basically overseeing all the departments and ensuring mm. that uh, all the publicity materials are actually designed to raise awareness and educate the public about blood donation and ensuring the actual operations of the blood drive that everything is smooth and we reach our target to keep the blood bands blood stock healthy. Why do you guys do this? Um, uh, personal, is there any personal reason? Basically for me it's just a passion for community service and mm. Because I'm a regular blood donor, but I have not uh, organized any of such blood mobiles before. So I was very interested when I knew that we could be part of the organizing committee. So I just signed up for it. Okay, as for me, I participated in a Truly Magical Christmas 2007. And I actually donated my first bit of blood when I joined SMU. Mm. Yeah, so and after that, I felt that uh, since we are able to contribute, and one bit of blood from me can save three lives. So... And I decided to like join the event again. Yeah. And so I can encourage more people to join and take part in organizing a blood mobile. Okay. And you can accumulate more packs of blood. So. In your opinion, what is a truly magical Christmas? Like, okay, on Christmas Day, what would be the most truly magical? Would that be like a blood bath or something? <laughs> What's it? What's a truly magical Christmas to you? A truly magical Christmas is basically that everybody cares for everyone else. Mm. And in this Black Mobile, we aim to raise this kind of awareness and compassion for people who really need the bags of blood. For me, a truly magical Christmas would be one where everybody is feeling very happy and mm. we can save as many lives as possible. And not yeah. party too much and don't get to accidents. Yeah. It is the third day of the blood drive and already they have a fifth hundred donor. So they're going to give her a little surprise, a song and dance. Let's go see. It's our fifth hundred donor and blood buddy will be presenting the song and dance for you. We have three choices, uh, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bell Rocks and Deck the Halls. Perfect one. Deck the Halls, alright. Deck the Halls with Balls of Folly. One, two, three, go. Deck the Halls with Balls of Folly. This is the season to be jolly. Don't we now get a pair of fun? See the blazing you before us. Strike the up and join the chorus. While I tell of Christmas treasures. Fast away the old year passes. Hail the Yulin, less and lessers, fa la 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 Sing we joyous all together, fa la 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 Healers of the wind or weather, la 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 Thank you. Okay, I'm here with Mervyn Lee. He's a volunteer from SMU for the Blood Donation Drive. Okay, Mervyn, tell us your story. Okay, well, basically I signed up for this event because I used to donate blood until um, a fee, the la my last donation. They told me because I was G6PD deficient, they couldn't use um, anything other than my plasma. So I decided to come here and instead try to gather more, more, volunteer, um, more volunteers and donors so that um, they could save more lives than I could alone. So it's more like a giving back thing la, because you can't so you want to ensure that people are aware enough to come here and you know yep. donate their own blood yeah. and stuff. Okay so how long have you been like donating blood? Um, I've donated for like four times since I started uh, since I was in JC. Yeah that was when I started so that's about it. Yeah. Okay is this your first blood donation drive that you're doing for SMU? Mm, yes it is because actually I'm still a first year student so this is my first actually comm service event. Okay so what has motivated you to like join all these comm services and all this? 
Um, basically, I feel that everybody needs to do their part for the community, and especially as a student, we have the most time and um, we have the we have the outlets um, to do it because school has a lot of uh, opportunities for us in this aspect. Yeah. Okay. So, what do you think is your version of like a perfect Christmas? Um, well, on a larger scale, I suppose this this probably is it because um, to see Singaporeans come together for a good cause. That's that's great. That's a, the spirit of Christmas. All right, we've heard from the students. Now let's hear from a representative of the Singapore Red Cross Society. Okay, I'm here with Amanda. She's a project coordinator for corporate communications of the Red Cross Society. Amanda, tell us a bit about your year 2008 for the Red Cross. For the Red Cross, um, well, since the Red Cross has many departments within mm. the society, uh, like our Red Cross Home for the Disabled, our Red Cross Youth which includes the primary and secondary school cadets and also of course our Red Cross Humanitarian Network which includes the students from tertiary institutes. So all these students, um, they've been doing activities throughout the year yep. and uh, besides doing blood drives like today, they've also done um, first aid awareness. They've yep. gone around the island trying to educate people about the importance of first aid and um, besides that, we also have our regular activities mm. like um, Sometimes we try to thank our volunteers because they are all giving us their time throughout the year and some of them are like 55 years volunteers. Yeah. Yeah, so um, what we try to do t throughout the year is to uh, say thank you in little ways. So we have um, like our World Red Cross Day and our World Black Donor Day. And um, during these, these times, we try to educate the public about the importance of our work and also um, to thank our volunteers for the time that they've put in throughout the year. So 2008... Uh, ends off with Christmas and yep. this is the main like um, activity that's going on for Christmas season, right? Uh, this is the main public event for the Red Cross mm. during the Christmas season. Uh, it's the annual uh, blood drive by SMU. So besides that, we also have, uh, in. it's more like an internal event at the Red Cross Home for the Disabled. Um, where the staff and the volunteers for the home come together and then they put up this party for the residents. Our home actually houses more than 80 residents. During the Christmas and festive periods, we try to have little performances for the residents so mm. um, they feel happy as well. Then we all spend some time together as a, a family in the society. Okay, yeah. that's very sweet. <laughs> okay, so what do you think uh, holds for the Red Cross like in 2009? Well, what do you guys plan to do? Um, 2009 is an important year for us because mm. uh, next year is our 60th anniversary for the mm. Singapore Red Cross and also for the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies which is our umbrella body. Okay. Um, it's the 150th year. Mm. So it's like a double celebration. Um, what we are planning next year is besides our normal work, the work that we usually do, we also hope to encourage more people to see the work that we are doing, to support us in what we are doing, because um, all this, all the work that we do depends on the generosity of the public. That's true. Yeah, mm. so we hope to create more awareness, um, and we hope that our volunteers and our supporters will continue to support us in the work that we do. Okay, so now, you know, like economic downturn, everybody's mm. kind of gloomy and all that. <laughs> Has that affected, like, the donations coming in through, like, Red Cross or the help that people have given? Well, right now, uh, we can't say for sure that there is an immediate impact. But mm. although we can't say for sure, we're trying to prevent any of this yep. from happening. So what we are doing is um, we're taking precautions and we are cutting down on cost internally. Mm. Uh, maybe, like, electricity and, and yep. stuff like that. So... For our, our donors, actually, it's quite good because a lot of them are regular donors, so they don't just donate one time. Yeah. And they also make personal and corporate donations. Okay. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that our donors will still continue to support us. Okay. Mm. So in your opinion, what constitutes a truly magical Christmas? I think when you see the spirit of volunteerism in these students, it's very inspiring and mm. heartwarming because... Mm, it's not just a three-day drive to them. Uh, they take like months to plan for it, and then, and then they, they get together. They go home late every night and they start off early. And for the, the three days today, sounds they, like working. <laughs> it sounds like working, but it's tough because they're students as well. Yeah. So they are giving extra time and they don't get anything out of it. So mm. when you see it, um, I'm really happy when they meet that target. Yeah. Yeah, and sometimes they even exceed it. So I feel really glad as well. How will you be spending your Christmas? My Christmas? Um, well, I spent it doing Christmas, doing Red Cross work last year, so probably same. 
Okay, you have heard from the SME students their generosity this festive season. Now I'm going to try to do my part as well.